Hi, I'm Amanda. I'm here with my advanced beginner class. Um, we're working on various color techniques today. So um, because of that for my demo, I'm going to be doing a piece sort of similar to what I've got at the museum, at the glass market right now. Got a sample over here. We'll be doing different colors, maybe a different shape. But um, the idea is this like crisscrossy wrap uh, we're going to do on the threader to show my students who are so involved with what I taught them this morning that they're actually still working. But hopefully they'll join us soon. Um, so I've got my trusty assistant, Terry, is about to pick up a color overlay. And we'll get started. Thanks for joining us. She seems grumpy. I don't want to mess with her. All right. So we got a piece of blue color bar there. It's probably going to heat up rather quickly as far as colors are concerned. So I'll start my starter bubble now. I'm just going to sneak in here with you to make this huh? Oh, no. Okay. I just heard, heard a loud whoa <laughs> come from my students. They're totally on their own over there. Oh. Alright, so I got my starter bubble ready, just waiting for the bubble to cool down as well as the color to get nice and hot so I can drop the color over the top of this starter bubble and hopefully get a nice even overlay. Overlay is what we uh, overlays are what we just learned this morning and it's what my students are working on. Um, and they're, they're doing great. Let me know when you're like one one heat away, okay? okay. One heat away. You're heating it and bringing it? Mm -hmm. Just heat really deep, okay? <clears throat> I 
You guys don't have to stand all over there. Bring your chairs over here. Come keep me company, please. <laughs> I'm ready. You guys, I was telling you all earlier, keep your shears ready so your assistant knows exactly where to go. Touch down, turn, turn, turn. Make sure you're centered-ish. Try to cut up right next to that clear. First heat. Second heat, hopefully by then I'm like real close to the edge of the pipe, right? Which I look like I am now, hopefully just one more push level <clears throat> while marvering. We'll get that the rest of the way. All right, so now it's just regular old starter bubble time. Let's make sure this is a nice looking starter bubble so I can gather over it. <laughs> That's kind of like having applause <laughs> coming from the audience. Sophie, the squeaking giraffe. Works. All right, I'll let this cool down a bit. Um, it's a little dry. Yeah, let me just soak it a little bit. That's how we roll, a little last minute Larry. You can go for it. Got the wandering door. Oh, I said you can go ahead, yeah. That's a good idea, I was thinking. I'm gonna do two, two gathers, okay. Oh, 
careful, Aaron. <laughs> But I will try my best. I hope you guys start to notice little like things that you weren't noticing in the on the first day. Like, do you ever notice me rushing? I notice some of you still kind of like right after you gather, you're just rushing to get to whatever tool you're you know, whatever tool is getting the job done next. Rushing to the Marver, rushing to the block. You never need to rush with fresh glass. You know, Terry, why don't I just burn it in? <laughs> on this gather, yeah. <laughs> it's my fault we didn't make it easy earlier. Will you come blow for me? And I'll just uh, blow this out a little bit. And get smoke in the face. Blow gently. Stop. So, um, just to be clear for everyone at home, that wasn't like normal drama. <laughs> that was because I didn't make my newspaper on time. I made it like four minutes ago. So sorry about all the smoke. <laughs> um, there's squirt bottles in the back, you know. Oh, never mind. Steve's got one. Anyway, I thought it would be appropriate to punish myself rather than my assistant. <laughs> With all the smoke. So guys, I'm gonna gather over this. Make it a little bit bigger. Hey, Terry. So I'm going to gather over this and blow it out a bit. Okay. What do you got? Oh. Um, blow it out a little bit and then take the wrap. Okay? Yeah, I want it blown out a little bit first. That's good, I checked it. Can you grab the door for me? So you guys will notice I'm using different tools, kind of. I'm using a bigger block. I'm using some newspaper. Um, for me, that's because of the just I'm scaling up a little bit. Um, I find newspaper to actually work 
you know, and this is all personal stuff, you know, it's not, it's kind of whatever works for you. I find newspaper to almost hold me back when I'm working small, like I can't, I feel like I don't have as much control. But when I'm working bigger, I kind of want to use my whole hand to feel the glass, so that's why I use newspaper with bigger, bigger, bigger work. This isn't going to be that big, I'm just, you know, we've only been working pretty small so far. So Terry, you can start warming that front of that wrap up. I'm gonna take this to the marver, blow it out a little bit. All right, so guys, what we're going to be working on the rest of the day, which is so cool, we're going to be using this threader here, um, which you guys saw me set up earlier, right? Um, it's a way to turn your pipe. And as if you notice, as I turn it, um, the pipe moves back a little bit. So it'll create like a corkscrew as the wrap goes on. It's a way to get a really tight wrap. Really fun. We're going to have a fun afternoon here in Corning. I'm Sure. Yeah, that, that looks great. Um, so when I'm when I do this, I'm going to purposely let the the piece fall off center so that the wrap goes on off center. And just touch down on the moil, right, Terry? You know that? Just make sure you touch down on the moil. I'm ready whenever you are. Hang on, let me go off center. Hold on a second, hold on a second. Okay, touch down, touch down, pull back, pull back farther, farther. There you go, stay right there. Pull back a little bit, and now pull back really fast. Nice. So snip that off and just reheat it, reshape it, reheat it. So that's fun, right? You're gonna have fun with that all afternoon? Um, so you guys see how like I have a high end and a low end? Mm -hmm. I'll do it a little more dramatic later because I'm, that was kind of like not very off center. But this time I'm gonna do another wrap and I'm gonna go off center in the other direction and that's what's gonna create the crisscross that you see in the sample over there. <clears throat> Melt that in a little bit. Can't let an off center wrap make, make, make you blow glass off center, you know? Can maybe save it, do some centered thread wraps first to start, because it really can fool your eye a little bit. How you doing, Terry? All right, let me just flash and get myself off center. I'm a little hot, so just give me a second, okay? I'll go a little bit more off center this time. All right, I'm ready.
Touch down and pull back. Pull back. Pull back a little bit more. There you go. And pull. Fast. Good job. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. They're alive. So I'm gonna take like two heats, guys, to make sure I've got nice even heat. Like make sure all my heat isn't just in like the tip of my my piece. I'll marver. I wanna kind of marver down that those lumps a little bit. Whoops. I'll do this one more time just to make sure the heat is built up in there before I start doing regular old glass blowing again. Eh. It's actually, it's acting hot up there, so I will actually root. Resume my regular glass blowing on this heat. <laughs> so, I have texture on here making putting the jack line in this thing a little awkward. On, on the first one, I'm going to get started and then I'm going to give it to you. Thank you, Aaron. You hear the like, clankety clankety clank? The wrap. Yeah, the wrap is textured because I chose to put it on super late, thank you, in the process. So specifically to get some texture. It's a, it makes it a little awkward putting the jack line in because you're like, Um, once you get over here, keep it level. It doesn't have to be um, screaming. I'm going to use this one. And angle up. Turn, turn, turn. Yep, thank you. Beautiful. Thanks, Harry. Come on up to level. Uh, not yet. Probably once we flatten it, we can just probably swing open the middle door and leave it. I'm just going to clean that up a little bit, let the shape drop out a little bit. everything centered ish <laughs> centered ish is always good let's blow this out a little bit And stop. Blow again. And stop. Uh oh, I almost gave away my surprise. Hitting the newspaper on the wrap gave away the surprise. 
to the students. So I have a surprise for you guys. The wrap that I used is a reducing color. This is a color techniques class, so it's exciting. Um, do you guys know what that means? Yeah. It means like when the color is introduced to like a very uh, rich environment, like very depleted of oxygen, it's going to turn silver. It's blue, silver blue. So that will be the very last thing we do, though, before we put it in the annealer. Um, so Terry, I'm just building the heat up a little bit to back here, and then you'll take it. I want to grab me a piece of chalk so we can make this, figure out which way we're going to flatten this. We're going to flatten this out a little bit with some cork paddles. Not, not a lot, just oval it out a little bit. I'm gonna put the lines, yeah, that's fine. I want it there and there. All right, so I'm stopping about here. Yeah, I want the crisscross to be on the face. Go ahead, it's organic. <laughs> yeah, um, but I forgot, you know, the newspaper, when you hit it with the newspaper, it does similar things. So I was like, oh no, I'm giving away my surprise. Yeah. <clears throat> Are you cool capping? You want someone cap to cap with you? Okay. Um, so flip and angle up while you do it if you can. Can you angle? There you go. And actually let that fall on axis. It's see how it's twisting. There you go. Now. Yep. Oh, I don't know. That's where it went. <laughs> it's just, it was twisting. I was just trying to fix it. Oh, so we don't have, we can be level. Yeah. Let it fall back on center. Let's do that one more time. And then I'll just do it with the, um, do you need a door? Yeah. We'll just leave the inside one open. Um, will that be enough? Yeah. Okay, I was, standing, I was standing in the way of the camera. <laughs> Wait, is it enough? You can get out, right? Yeah. We'll do that one more time and then I'll just do the rest of the newspaper. I'm not trying to go for like, some people, you know, sometimes you see the shape like pretty dramatic. I'm just trying to go for like, ovaled out a little bit. It's important to cap the pipe, otherwise it'll just like collapse. So get on center first. And whenever you're ready. Thank you, my dear. Will you just get ready to blow? This is going to be very gentle. Uh, blow very gently. Stop. Blow gently. Stop. All right, let's get a bottom on this. Can I have you close the door for me so I can really spot heat this bottom? I don't think so. I think I'm going to thank you, Aaron. Either that or I'll grab the paddle. Um, will you put the wet paddle? Yeah, put the wet paddle up there. Ooh. My yoke is. <laughs> Yay. Some nice sound effects for everybody. OK. OK, 
open. And I'll just have you ready to blow. Do that one more time. Oh, um, Terry? When I come out, will you put some wax on the, like grab one of the other pairs of jacks from another bench and put some wax on the yoke out? You can leave it open. Oh, on the yolk. Oh, it's sticky. Yeah, but I need wax on the yolk because I can't. Um. But yes, I am ready for a punny. Much better, thank you. Have any questions? We're gonna get to play around though with the threader today. Um, we'll play around with the cork paddles. Maybe not. I, mean, I might make you wait a day. Just for that. We'll play around with the reduction colors soon. Soon enough. I run a tight ship. Coming out. A little less off the tip, Terry, push. One more time, steeper angle. Hang out, hang out, hang out, hang out. Coming out. Pull just a little bit. How does it feel? A little loose? Sure. Thank you, Steve. And don't flash right away, and I got it. Thank you.
you can leave it. Let's take a look at my lips so I can decide what I'm doing. I'm not gonna. Uh, yeah, I will. <laughs> For the sake of demo. Uh, not, not like very many. It's, it was a relatively new production line last year before I took um, my self-appointed maternity leave. <laughs> So Lou and I came up with it together. I like to tell her it was you and me, kid. Oh, chatting at the glory hole. Do you guys think I'm hot enough? Probably not. I'm gonna show you guys a little different uh, trimming technique. than we've been doing. A little warmer. Jack and crack. Jack and Duke. What? Duke. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> You're the boss. So this is just a different trimming technique. So I pulled it out thin so that I could cut a little jack line into the thinner material. And then we'll, we'll bonk it off. I'm going to be going down, so if you're ready with the paddle, yep, if you can. On. Yeah, didn't quite get it hot enough. One more time. Let me get a little bit more flat. No, nope, I'm okay. Thank you. Keep it open. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right. Should I keep it a little small art school opening? I think so. Um, do you pull out the pedal for me, Terry? So Corning's so fancy, they have a foot pedal that can uh, change the... Oh, OK. Leave it in there. I didn't know. I've never used it before. <laughs> we usually do this the old-fashioned way. Um, so wait, let me just flash and come out. I just want to. So they have a foot pedal that's going to change the, the atmosphere in the glory hole to a very rich atmosphere, making the flame very like bushy. And it's going to reduce the wrap, hopefully. I'm going to assume it's going to work, because we're at Corning, and Corning's awesome. Sure, that'd be great. Uh, close up. Go for it. And stop. Open. How'd we do? Sounded cool? Let me let it cool down. Let's do that one more time. And actually, I'm going to have you glove up because I can't flash again after we do that. Let's do it a little longer next time. Um, I'll step on it. Okay. By let's, I mean I will. And I'll have you glove up. Don't clap yet. She knows the superstition. Will you help her get on her, her sleeves? They're a little hard to get on with that thing. I'm just going to flash and come out. OK. Open up. There we go. I guess I'll knock it off on the uh... Thank you, whoever that was. Terry. Reduction pedal. You okay? Oh, so. Ah. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. I had fun. Hope it was good for you too.